Hi, welcome to the Canada Soccer Club License Educational Series. This video will briefly outline the differences between two board structures, operational boards, and policy boards. An operational board manages the day-to-day -day operations of a club through operational committees, whose chairs sit at the club's board of directors, normally alongside the president, vice president, and finance directors. This method of governance is used by clubs that are entirely volunteer driven or mostly volunteer driven and supported with a part-time admin staff. While not an optimal mode of governance, the operational model can be effective as long as the board understands their governing responsibilities and leaves operational and program matters outside of the boardroom. It is worth cautioning that this marriage of responsibility has the capacity to confine the board to project management and leaves little energy for governance which can stagnate club growth. Policy boards govern the club through policy implementation, meaning that policy boards are not involved in day-to-day -day decision making within the club, but rather have operational oversight through senior staff. Policy boards manage senior staff through development, implementation, and performance against outline club strategy. Policy boards require staff to carry out operations. Therefore, substantial resources are necessary for this model of governance to exist. The differentiation is important for clubs wishing to obtain the PTSO Level 2 and the National Youth Club License within the Canada Soccer Club License Program. Clubs that wish to achieve PTSO Level 2 and National Youth Club License will need to operate as policy boards due to the complexity of operations necessary to satisfy the criteria of these two licenses. Additionally, it's important to note that any clubs with senior staff, regardless of which club license they wish to pursue and obtain, should consider finding creative solutions to become more effective at the board level while leveraging their operational capacity through senior staff. As mentioned, a uh, focus on operations, particularly with senior staff hired, consumes valuable energy that the board could allocate to strategic planning and oversight, thus further demonstrating to the membership that there is organizational direction, accountability, and consideration for effective use of senior staff. Thank you for watching. For more information, keep an eye out for the release of the Soccer Nova Scotia Governance and Operations Guide, or contact Nino Kovacevic, Strategic Development Consultant at Soccer Nova Scotia.